What's up guys? Figured I'd make a short video today. I'm just at a, a park that I haven't really been to before. But I uh, found all kinds of clad. I actually found a uh, 67 quarter that was down about 6 or 7 inches, which is pretty crazy. Because this is a relatively, well I guess it's a new park. The land's been in use since 1949, so go figure. But anyways, the reason I wanted to make this video <coughs> was... I'm gonna do a bottle cap test. Uh, this is a video coming up. I'm gonna do a bottle cap test with the Equinox and I guess we'll do the T2 as well. But I'm gonna dig about six holes in my yard and have my wife go out there and put the bottle caps and I'm gonna mix it with pennies too. So then I'm gonna go over it with both machines and determine which is which to see how accurate it is and to test out the techniques on the equinox to see if it helps distinguish bottle caps from you know a coin so uh be sure to look forward to that and we'll get this party started i'm getting a pretty deep signal right here about eight or nine inches pretty stable id between a dime and a quarter so uh We'll see what we got. I got about a five, five or so inch plug, and just broke the halo on it. I guess I could flip it over in the boost mode. See what we get. up around a quarter so we'll see what we got I'm down probably this pinpointer is nine inches so I'm down right at the nine inch mark and looks like to be up about eight inches or so so I'm gonna live dig this to see if it's anything worth anything Yeah, baby, it's a coin. That thing was down there. It's probably just clad, so it is 19, 1977 copper penny. That's some good stuff. That's why I love my T2. But yeah, that was down. I'd say it's probably I dug down about nine inches, and it was probably about at the eight and a half mark. Eight, eight and a half. That's not bad. It's pretty crazy to see coins that deep out here, but it is what it is. All right, see you guys in a bit. A signal right here. I'm only running, what's my sensitivity? 85. That's what I've been running, disc at 10, 2 plus. I got a quarter or dime or copper penny signal. Right here. It's pretty close to the fence, so I'm curious to see what it is. I don't think it's that deep, but uh, we'll go ahead and check it out. like uh, another penny copper penny which rings up same as a dime all right see you guys in a bit of the hole I pulled that out of listen to the iron in this puppy it's pretty good pull that coin out anyways enough gloating on the t2 I know I love it and yeah, I'm sure you guys are probably annoyed with it but sorry about that all right, on to the next. Here's another six incher. <clears throat> Just cut the plug. Looks like it's gonna be a zinc, but uh, that's fine. I'm just out here in the park hunting, so I'm not really expecting too much. I 
this is a net plug. What's going on here? I dump it back in the hole. Oh, there it is. Yep, that's a uh, Lincoln. All right, see you guys in a bit. I'm right next to the hole I just dug, which is right here. You can't even tell I dug it, which is pretty good. But, uh, where's it at? Possibly a nickel. About five inches, we'll see what we got. Guys, I found another deep signal. Looks to be coming up in the zinc range, kind of bouncy. It's right at the edge of my detection. There's a dime copper penny signal. It's right at the edge of my detection in regular mode at 85 sensitivity. I could drop it down to boost mode and probably pick it up better, but I'm gonna dig this, see what we got. Hey guys, I'm down pretty deep. I'm down about eight inches, eight and a half, maybe nine. But uh, I've isolated it to right here somewhere. Grab the digger. Now I get my pin pointer. Yep, there we go. I don't know if you can see that good, it's just a dime. I don't know, I can't see the date on it, but it's not silver. Anyways, that's probably gonna wrap up my dig. If you've made it this far in the video, uh, the main reason I made this video is to announce that I'll be doing the bottle cap challenge pretty much with the T2 and the Equinox. I'm gonna use the methods that I have showed you guys with the uh, Equinox and I'm going to do some methods with the T2 as well. I'm going to do six holes, mix them with uh, pennies and bottle caps. I'm not going to know which hole is which. It's up to me to determine that with the machine and I'll write down which holes I think is what and then I'll go over it with the T2 and do the same and then I'll dig them up and see how well the methods work and whatnot. So I think it'll be a fun little challenge, see how good the machines are. Anyways, I'm going to get to covering this hole up and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. So I just want to show the plug real quick. Uh, that's the plug I was just at with the deep dime. Uh, some of you may have thought it was a messy plug or whatnot, but as you can see it went back really well. But uh, just covering my tracks on that. Thanks for watching.